Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here, and as I record this, I am preparing to go to JoeCon. Before I go though, I wanted to take a minute and rap with you guys about some important things about the channel. Uh, this channel has seen some amazing growth lately. That means there are a lot of new people, and since a lot of you are new, you haven't been around long enough to see some of the announcements and some of the things that I've said about the format of the show in the past. So I thought this might be a, a good opportunity to make a video to explain everything to new people so you don't have to go through every video I've made for the last four years uh, just to completely understand what goes on on this channel. So uh, first of all, welcome. I'm glad you're here. I hope you enjoy it, uh, and this is for you if you're new, uh, so that you can understand what goes on here at the Hooded Cobra Commander 788 YouTube channel. First, I want to make clear what this channel is even about. Uh, on this channel, we review vintage G.I. Joe toys, and by vintage, I mean uh, from 1982 through 1994, and I focus on American domestic releases only. Now, sometimes I do look at other things. I look at some modern toys. Uh, I look at some foreign issues. Uh, I've even looked at you know, old 1960s 12-inch G.I. Joe figures. But that is all just bonus content. It's not the core focus of this channel. These reviews are about my perspective, my opinion, and my journey as a collector. They are not just straight toy reviews. If you want a straight toy review with just a guy pointing a camera at a toy and talking about it, there are plenty of other YouTube channels that do that. This is personal. This means something to me. Uh, and so um, I don't expect everyone to agree with me. You don't have to agree with me. I'm not out here seeking everyone's agreement. I'm not out here to affirm my opinion, uh, but I am out here to express my opinion. Um, if you disagree in a way that is disrespectful or hateful, you may not find yourself hanging around very often, but disagreement is expected. It's even welcome here. Uh, but please understand that the reviews themselves uh, are mine and my opinion, uh, and I feel it's my duty as a reviewer to be honest with you about what I really think about things. And sometimes that's really good, sometimes that's really bad, uh, sometimes it's in the middle, uh, but whatever that is, uh, I will be frank, I will be honest, uh, and uh, that's what you should expect here. I would suggest that you not start fights in the comments. I don't really have this problem very often. Uh, it seems like I have a really smart group of regular viewers who come in here, and you guys are really bright, uh, but if somebody is drifting by here and sees something that deeply offends them in the video or the comments and they want to start a fight about it, um, please keep in mind that we're talking about toys, uh, there is no excuse for treating another person poorly. Uh, and so I expect that the comment section uh, will be used by people who know how to behave like adults. And thankfully, it almost always is. I really don't have very much trouble in the comment section. Um, but yeah, if you're some dude drifting by and you decide you want to be hateful to people, um, just keep on drifting by. Uh, but everyone else who wants to actually discuss these amazing toys that we love and remember and were such a, an important part of our childhood, uh, please stick around. Please leave your comments. I love reading them. Uh, I reply to as many as I can. I, I'm not able to reply to as many as I used to, and I regret that, but I love reading your comments, I love hearing from you, and I hope to hear more from you in the future. Sometimes on this channel we do skits, we do stories, we do jokes, and the reason we do those things is because I enjoy them, and I want to make videos that I enjoy. Uh, this is a creative outlet for me because I need a creative outlet, so if that's not your thing, well, Sorry, but that is something to expect on this channel from time to time. We also do quite a few collaborations on this channel. Uh, it's been my privilege to work with uh, some of the uh, other great G.I. Joe related uh, YouTube content creators. Uh, and it's fantastic. I mean, I've, I've had the opportunity to work with uh, FormBX257 uh, and uh, half the, uh, Timmer from Half the Battle and G.I. Joeberg and some other guys, and they're all great. Um, you know, this behind-the-scenes stuff that uh, we do to bring these collaborations uh, to you is a lot of fun, and I can tell you that all of those guys um, are as awesome off-camera as they are on-camera. I, I really enjoy doing that, um, and I feel like... Uh, um, whatever anyone thinks of my videos, 
uh, the one thing that I feel like I've been able to contribute to the community is that collaboration. Uh, I've done my best to try to bring um, content creators together to work um, as more of a community, uh, and I hope that that's something that's appreciated by some G.I. Joe fans. I know at the time I'm recording this, there isn't any G.I. Joe uh, on the toy shelves right now. Uh, but it's a great time to be a G.I. Joe fan because the fan-created content is fantastic. It's wonderful. So please check out everyone that we do a collaboration with uh, because you might find uh, other content creators that uh, will just blow you away. So, um, so yeah, I think it's a great time to be a G.I. Joe fan. Uh, I'm very appreciative of everything that everyone's doing to keep the love and enjoyment of G.I. Joe alive, even when Hasbro isn't really utilizing the brand that much. You'll probably notice a lot of artwork on the title cards for these videos. That's the, the image that pops up when you first see the video on YouTube. Uh, and a lot of that art is donated by the artists. And I am extremely thankful for that. I can't tell you how grateful I am for that. Um, I know that as an artist, you often get people who uh, want you to do the work for free or work for exposure. Uh, I don't do that. I don't ask for that. But at the same time, this channel is not big enough to pay for people to do the title card art. That artwork is done by people donating their time and effort just because they like the show and they want to participate. So if you see me in a video thanking an artist, please check out that artist. They deserve your attention and they have my gratitude. As a viewer on this channel, you are entitled to something. You are entitled to my best effort in every video. Now, my best effort may produce a better video one week than another week, but it's still my best effort in each video. Uh, I will make mistakes sometimes, but I'll try not to. I actually do quite a bit of planning to try to minimize mistakes, but sometimes mistakes creep in anyway, uh, and that will happen but I will do my best every week. The videos might be better if they were made by someone who was smarter than me or better looking or had a better voice uh, or had more time or more skills at making videos. That may be true, but what you got is me. So you're entitled to my best effort every week. And if there's somebody out there who can do it better, Tell me who that is. I'd probably like to watch that guy. We have some traditions on this channel. One tradition is that at the end of every year, I do a question and answer video. Um, and so the last video that should be posted each year would be the answers to whatever questions you ask for that video. Usually I also take the first week of each year off. So the first week of January, I take off the reason is because the first video that goes up each year, I try to review something big. Big vehicle, big playset, and I need the extra time to work on it, so usually that first week I take off. The second week I post what should be a pretty big video to kick off the year. One tradition is Cobra Convergence uh, every July. That started out as just Cobra Month. Uh, I did Cobra Month because I had done a whole bunch of reviews of G.I. Joe team figures, vehicles, and it had been a while since I had done anything related to Cobra. So a few years ago, in the month of July, I just decided, okay, all of July is going to be just Cobra. Well, the following year, I got in contact with uh, Timmer, and Form BX257, and I asked these guys, you want to come together for one big event at the end of July? Uh, and they agreed, so uh, on the last day of July in 2016, we did Cobra Convergence. The three of us got together, we each did our own Cobra video on that day. Well, the following year, we did Cobra Convergence too. More participants, bigger event. We did a storyline for it. I had a lot of fun. I hope everybody else did. And it looks like Cobra Convergence is now becoming an annual tradition, and it seems to be getting bigger each year. The tagline that I use, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, I didn't just make that up myself. Uh, that comes from the very first G.I. Joe commercial uh, back in 1964. So. I'm kind of all about our roots. I want to remember our roots in G.I. Joe, uh, and part of our roots is 
go all the way back to 1964. So uh, that phrase, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe, is my little nod to uh, the old school 12-inch G.I. Joe figures uh, from back before our time. But without them, we wouldn't have our 80s G.I. Joe. If you just can't get enough of me, I am on social media. I have a Facebook page. I'm on Twitter. Not on Instagram yet. I need to fix that. I'm working on it. Um, I also have a website, hcc788.com. All of my G.I. Joe reviews are cataloged there, so if you're not sure if I've reviewed something, you can check the website. Through the website, you can also order t-shirts, so uh, if you just want to wear me on your body, you can order a t-shirt there. This channel also has a Patreon page, and that helps offset some of the cost of making this show. Uh, through Patreon, I've been able to uh, get better equipment, get more things to review. Uh, uh, and so thank you to everyone who supports the channel in that way. Uh, and uh, I enjoy supporting creators on Patreon myself. Uh, whenever I see a creator that I think is awesome, and I see they have a Patreon page, and I check it out, and they have a ton of patrons, I'm like, yes, my opinion is affirmed, yeah! So if you'd like to support the channel that way, uh, please check out Patreon. I have some uh, special perks there also. Sometimes you will see numbers on the screen in videos. That is a secret code. And there is a secret code book. And that secret code book goes to some of my supporters on Patreon so they can decode that message. Usually what it is is um, a preview of the next video. I had toyed with the idea of, at the end of each video giving a preview of what was coming next. I actually did a poll on that twice. Uh, I did a poll, and both times, overwhelmingly, viewers said they did not want to know what was coming next. They want to be surprised with what's coming up uh, each week. So. Instead of doing a preview like that, instead what I did was I'll, I'll put a preview, a hint actually, in a secret code. And if patrons want to decode that, they can use their code book to check that out. It's optional, it's up to them. Sometimes I'll throw up something else in a secret code, a little joke, little message or something like that. So um, if you have the code book, uh, you can uh, find out what it says, and if you like the codebook, uh, check out Patreon. There's nothing in the secret codes or on Patreon, though, that you would need to fully enjoy the videos. Uh, that's one thing that I will always do. All the content on this channel is free. Uh, if you want to support the channel in other ways, uh, you can do that uh, and you can get some bonus stuff. But the reviews and everything that's on this channel will always be free of charge to the end user. So um, I'm never going to put anything behind a paywall that you just can't see unless you give me money. Uh, I don't do that. So every week I want to bring uh, these videos to as many people as possible. Sometimes viewers donate toys to the channel. That's uh, been a big help, but it's not necessary. I want to tell everybody that you don't have to do that. Uh, it's very much appreciated when you do, but nobody should feel obligated to send anything to me. Um, if you want to, though, uh, just send me an email. I'll put the email address on the screen right now, um, and I can tell you how to do that. Um, and if you send something to me, I will put it in a video. I'll, I'm doing unboxing videos each month where I just take out and show you everything that everyone sent me for that month. So if you send me something, I will put it on the channel. I will put it in, in a, a video. We've created a community here that feels like family and you are invited to join. I've made some great friends in this project, uh, lifelong friends. Uh, that's something that I never expected when I started out. Uh, but um, after doing this for a while, you would be amazed at what people share with you, what they tell you, they get in touch with you. Uh, and uh, we have, and sometimes the people that are half a world away, but we share uh, one thing in common. We share an enjoyment of this toy line from our childhood. Uh, and that turns out to mean more than you might expect. So I'm very grateful for the friends that I've met through this project, and I hope that you watching this here will be one of them. That, I think, was just a basic primer for anyone who is new to this channel. If you are new, uh, thank you for joining the channel. Um, I hope you stick around. We try to have a lot of fun here. We try not to take it too seriously. We try to all have a good time and kind of bond over our shared love of G.I. Joe. It's time for me to get ready to go to JoeCon. I hope to see some of you there. Uh, no new review this week, but 
working on something big, working on something big. So please stick around for it. Thanks for watching, and yeah, remember, only G.I. Joe is G.I. Joe.